Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be taking a look at the Exto wallet from the company Akini. On the sleeve of the box it says the last wallet you will ever need and that's a bold claim. I like the confidence. Now taking a look inside it has a very simple presentation. You will be greeted with the wallet right away. You get a pool of colors to choose from and it took me 15 minutes to decide which color to get. There's just so many, which is a good thing. I went with the light blue one, but I also liked the orange one and the green one. You can also select how many cards you will want to be able to fit in the wallet from 4 all the way up to 10 cards. I went with 8 cards even though I will only be carrying 5 cards just in case I get some gift cards or reward cards that I want to put in there in the future. You can also buy additional accessories for it like change the spring design, you can get a business card cover, a cover plate and a phone mount. And you can get these in different colors. An awesome thing about this is that you can actually give this wallet a personal touch by getting it engraved with a picture or words and you can upload your own image. So taking a closer look at the wallet it has a very compact design and it comes in at 32 grams so it's a lightweight wallet. The wallet is made from aluminum and stainless steel and coated with a powder coat that gives the wallet a sort of grainy surface feel. It has a strong structural design and it looks like it will be a durable wallet. It also looks like it will fare well against scratching. I have only had this wallet for a little over a week. I've been putting it in the same pocket as my keys and I have had no scratches on it. So I will update you guys in the next 3 months. On the back it has the Exto branding nicely engraved and in the front it has a big opening for the cards. It has a pretty interesting design. Since this wallet can hold a maximum of 8 cards, I will be using a few blank cards since I don't have that many cards. You can slide your cards in from both sides and there's a satisfying click when the cards snap into place. You can slide all your cards in at the same time or one by one. It does take a little bit of practice to get the hang of it. So this is how the wallet will look with the max 8 cards in there. There is still room for one more card which I believe is left for the cover plate. The cover plate looks like it's made from plastic and it has the thickness of a credit card. They don't mention that this wallet is RFID protected but it has a decent metal thickness and with the cover plate on it looks like it can potentially keep your cards from being skimmed. If you don't want the cover plate on it will be able to hold 9 cards. I will only be carrying 5 cards for now. So it would take a simple motion to get a card out of the wallet. You can fan them out one by one by pushing them out with your thumb. The top card is the easiest and fastest one to get out. Just push it out with your thumb and you are set. So this will be the perfect spot for the one that you use daily. Now to choose a card from the middle, just keep pushing the cards out until you get to the one that you want and then push that one out too. Now with your right hand index finger you can hold it in place while you push the other cards back into the card holder and you will be able to get the card that you want out. So this is pretty simple and you can get faster after you do it a couple of times. So the cards are secure in place and won't fly out even with a nice hard shake. You should be fine from losing your cards as long as you're not out partying with your wallet in hand and your hand in the air like you just don't care. Now if you will be doing that, they thought of that too. There's a small loophole on the wallet where you can put a hand wrist lanyard through. So you can keep it in your hand safe. Now on a serious note, you can hang a Samsung Smart Tag, Apple Air Tag or a tile tracker on it to make it easy to find your wallet when you misplace it. Or just hang some other little things on it. The cool thing about this wallet is that you can store some cash underneath the cards and it's actually pretty simple to get out and put back in. You just need to push all your cards out of the way and you can take your cash out and also put it back in. So the wallet is able to hold a maximum of 8 bills and you can fold them into thirds or into fourths. The less cards that you carry with you, the more bills you can keep in there. With my 5 cards, the wallet can hold up to 12 bills and even with 8 cards, I still managed to fit in 12 bills but it was a little tight. I rarely use cash but I still like to carry about $40 in cash just in case. If you're someone that likes to carry a load of cash with you and maybe has like one card then this probably isn't the right wallet for you. As long as you won't be carrying $300 in your wallet then you should be fine with a wallet like this because if you are the change is going to add up and you won't be able to put all that money back in the wallet. Now going over to the back side you can store some business cards in here. I don't have any business cards so I will be putting my driver license and my Best Buy card in there. You will be able to fit about 3 credit cards in there, you can squeeze in 4 but it will be a bit tight. And you won't be able to put on the business card cover. I should have gone with the white business card cover, to me the white looks great with the light blue. But oh well. The business card cover has a little curve at each end making sure your business cards stay in there. I didn't have any issues with my license lighting out without the cover. You can also attach this wallet to the back of your phone with the phone mount accessory. You simply stick this part to the back of your phone case and then you can slide your wallet in like this. So now your phone and wallet are one. Depending on how big your hands are and the size of your phone, you may be able to wrap your entire hand around it and use your phone while you have this on. You can also hold your phone by the wallet like if it were a pop socket, but it does add some weight and it can get heavy. So this wallet is a great wallet for minimalists who want an easy way to carry their cards around and a few dollar bills. 
The small form factor makes this wallet super easy to carry around. I like it. Overall, this is a solid wallet and a really functional wallet that is easy to get cards and cash out of it and put back into it. I would highly recommend it, and who knows, this might just be your last wallet like they say. So I will leave it at that and I will leave the link below in the description in case you want to check it out. So thank you all for watching, leave a like if you found the video helpful and subscribe for more tech related videos and I will talk to you on the next one.